Hi, uh, Lawrence here. Here's uh, another one mosaic we're going to look at. This is slightly different from the others. This is a much later one. So 6th century CE, um, I don't tend to go that far forward uh, much. I prefer the earlier ones, but this is a nice example. This is a uh, hair mosaic from the Chapel of Priest John in Jordan. And here we are. You can see how different this um this has become where we go very much flatter they've lost that sort of three dimension three dimensional work there but it's a very clear uh very nicely preserved one okay the eye uses half width tesserae but the mosaic turns to the returns to the using the full size tesserae as soon as you can so you'd see there's a sort of half cut you tend to steer clear of those using lots of rectangles but it's worked here um and if you were doing that if you i'd be setting that black line at the top then putting all those layers of the eye underneath it did just sort of works a lot easier that way same game here with the ear um, you can see what they've done with the design is the inside the, the both ears are around about four tesserae at the widest point so that you give yourself the you make it as easy as you can on yourself you see the lower one which is the ear that is open towards us is used that sort of like that that shiny area is trying to portray that shiny area on the inside of the ear where you don't have the hair and obviously you don't get that on the other side but again it's about four tesserae width each maybe a little bit wider but it just used those lines just to get that detail in there what's this you see the gray line that gray diagonal line across the neck i have no idea what it is it would be Quite coincidental if all those tesserae had deteriorated in some way. Um, I, I'm the loss. Let me know what you think in the the, the, the comments. Sort of, it sort of appears to be something going around its neck, but then it stops at the borderline on either end. Okay, and the last thing is the grapes. You can see fairly standard. Um, you've got uh, three tesserae height, three wide, and then a, a triangle at each of the four corners. That gives you that circle. When it's done like this, this is quite two-dimensional, as in with uh, all of it. But, you know, it's, it's effective enough. It's just if you were doing a lot of these, you've got to really work at it to make sure that you don't get them all exactly the same and all exactly the same size. So a bit of a different one uh, today. There's our hair from Jordan. I quite like it. Uh, quite, quite simple. Um there but uh, it's a it's a nice example of how things changed when they when they got to that later period okay don't forget if you'd like to learn more about what we're talking about the guide to the principles and rules used in Roman mosaics is the, the the basis for all of this uh, and the the drawing Roman mosaics is available as well thanks very much